Hi folks, welcome to another craze hack for Tableau. Today I'm going to show you a few options you have to let your consumers of your visitors know when the data was last refreshed. So the first and best option, of course, is to build the extract date time into your data layer and have it surface as a column. Uh, and that will always be accurate because it'll be part of your warehouse refresh process. Failing that, you have a few options in the Tableau layer. I'm just going to demo those and let you know my preferred one. So the first one is you can actually make use of a, a date field in your data set as a, as a proxy. So if you're confident your order dates are not in the future and the last order date you'll have will be the last uh, transaction in your data set, you can actually make use of that by just adding in a max order date into a viz and then you might um, edit the uh, label and you can do data as at max order date and you can add that onto your dashboards. Another option is to use the inbuilt function in Tableau. So if you go into a title, you can sales as at. There's an actually a little insert thing here. We can do a data update time. Unfortunately, you've got to have something in your viz to get that one to work. So it really only works if you've got a view uh, rather than a dashboard. And you're pretty well stuck with that clunky date format down to the second. So for that reason, I'm not a real fan of that one. I am a fan of this one that I've been using a lot lately. And this is the custom SQL option. So if you're lucky enough to be pointing at a database, you can actually go in and create a new data source. You can connect to, I'm connecting to SQL Server, so I'll show you the SQL Server version. You don't actually have to connect to a particular table. You just need to create a new custom SQL. And the select statement is select get date as extract date time. And give that an update and you can see We've got our date time. So if you go back, I'll make that an extract. And we go back to our viz. And we can now use this custom SQL as a, a, an alternative to the uh, max order date here. So let me just change the default properties to something a bit nicer in dates. I always prefer to the one that's not on the list, which is nice and friendly. And we're going to drag this one on instead of this one as a discrete. So now we've got a dart as at data source that will update along with our workbook and we can use that to put onto some dashboards. Let me show you how that looks. So if I grab this viz here, we pop it off there, we get rid of the title. And there we go. We can, can see that we have uh, a nice little uh, informative date time there for consumers of our dashboard. And next time the data refreshes, and we'll just do a, um, a refresh of this one. You can see our date time will update as well. Yeah, same time. So, hope you enjoyed that Craig's hack. Thanks for tuning in and happy visiting.